this is going to be the last tutorial now in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use name position and this is a certain kind of animation only like uh, when uh, how the vanity bag looks uh, when it is closed and when it how it looks when it is open so you can see uh, when it is closed the zip puller comes in the front and when it is open the zip puller comes at the back and i'm doing this by double clicking in it now uh, when you actually see the interface you will not find name position so what you need to do is basically right click here and you will find name position here okay and i'll tell you how to basically save as so uh, what you need to do is so you need to select all of this like you know uh, uh, just select everything by clicking on control g uh, the upper panel and everything just make sure you have the stitching line and all and uh, you just need to go over here and type in um, like i have already done close so i'll do close 1 bb and i'll click okay so i have this one layer uh, which is uh, selected now uh, what i need to do is i'll just select this and select this and i will append this to this close position so i have to be on the layer and then you can even right click and append name position so i can do this or i can go over to this icon where you know uh, you hover your cursor you say it says append to selected name position so even you can do that now uh, in the last tutorial i had taught that you make four zip pullers uh, one at the back and one at the uh, one in the front but uh, while doing this i realized that we don't need four we just need uh, two only and uh, what we need to do is basically uh, rotate this and push put it in the back so now if i open it it comes like this so this is at the back now i'll tell you how i did this one so i'll just uh, close it right now and uh, i'll just uh, select the upper base which is uh, selected it's already grouped and what i need to do is i need to right click and rotate 3d in the perspective view just select from here to here so make sure you are on this this perspective and you can click shift to have a straight line you get a circle like this now what you need to do is basically click shift or click alt to move this at whatever angle you want it at 90 degree you can have it at 90 you want it at 45 you can have it even at 60 as well okay and uh, once that is done all you need to do is uh, just take this one select it and save as and i'll type in open uh, one vanity bag bb and click ok now uh, what you need to do is basically just take this zipper and you go into the perspective view and we do it in the top view okay so we just do it like this and what we need to do is basically rotate it in the other direction like this just click shift so that you are on the straight line and here also you rotate it in the other direction like this and uh, now what you can do is basically take these two shift it at the back like this and then position them like position this one here
this one here and this one will go here obviously you would need to rotate it a bit and adjust it uh, accordingly which i think you can do it with the gumball and uh, once it is done uh, since all of this you have already uh, made a layer same as what we did earlier so you need to just select these two zippers and append it to the open so i'll just right click here and append name position and uh, you can click in, click over the either one just use any of this you know, options and uh, once it is done since it's not done properly i have already made a uh, a one earlier so i'll show you that one so i'll go to my perspective view and this is the close so you can see now the pullers are here because it was appended to and uh, this is the this is while it's open now you can use uh, move forward and do the texturing and also you can add pockets here you can add a zip you can do offset surface make the surface a little thicker so that you know you don't see these rivets and uh, this kind of disturbances and uh, just hide them you can add pockets here as well to the vanity bag 